Special thanks to Metric Conversion, Nubix Cube, Vel Sharon, A, Bender Waffles, Feek, Thingy, The Temporal Discussion Podcast, Lemon314, Lord Entropy, Averly Long, JL, Laszlo Panaflex, Schumann 3D Blast, Shine Wolf, Ryan Devil23, Ministry of Envoy Control, Miku, and Zeech for sponsoring my videos and the Ramp Project. Go to David X Newton on Patreon to join the ASCII Brigade. Good evening, it looks like I've arrived at our next map by accident because I was cleaning out the uh, village section because I realised I hadn't ever gone back and looked at the maps I'd already completed uh, after I reset my save by accident. And uh, I've uh, cleared out a fair amount of it. But here's one more. This one is uh, called Van Sub the Second and it's by uh, somebody who I'm just going to call Ash 10 Ash. Here we go. Uh, this was replaced very late in the project's lifespan because uh, <laughs> they realised that uh, they'd submitted a ward with more than one map in it and had chosen the wrong one and had given them a rubbish kind of fire blue cacodemon test map. But uh, I'm glad you got your town map in there in the end. Let's see, is this where I'm supposed to be going? Yes, okay. Oh, Pain Elemental with a pistol. You're giving me a workout here. And uh, I see you've, you've worked this out subsequently, because I can see you doing it on the door to the left here. But yeah, if you have a sector that pokes above the door, then you don't have to make your door stretch all the way to the ceiling. <laughs> there we go, all right. Oh, the invulnerable shotgun, that's handy. I imagine that's done something important somewhere. Ah, we're racking up the weapons now. This might have been a better place to go in first. least something. Well, I heard something over here. I did see there was a mancubus uh, just uh, hiding a bit around the corner. Where'd he go? Was he at the other side? Never mind. Um, yeah, this looks a bit weird here. Uh, no doubt you've uh, found out how difficult it is to get the sky and uh, buildings to interact in Doom. If you're in UDMF, you can use the 3D floors and that makes things a lot easier. But uh, for places like this, you generally uh, want to have the wall just as high as the sky to make it uh, look like you don't have this sort of paper bricks on the top. Oh, there he is! So we got the red key, didn't we? Uh, oh yeah, I, I can see. Oh, is that, the, is that the red dot? I can't even see. No, it isn't. We've got a blue door. There's the red door. Okay. Oh, it's uh, it's up on the platform. Hmm. Let's look elsewhere, then. Not there. Nope, that was just a... I, I thought there was a teleporter there for a the moment. So, Is that anything? Where am I going? Not there. It's health there. I'm very confused. That was blue, wasn't it? 
Yeah, it'd be nice to have some blue uh, borders on that door as well, just to indicate that it is blue. If I don't work this out, this is going to be a fairly boring video. Yeah, I saw that uh, there was no wall at the back on the map. How do I get up there? Let's try flipping that switch again, see if it temporarily raises something. Yes, yes it did, okay. Way okay. Bit cryptic for a non-secret there. Uh, pleasant looking fireplace, at least it wasn't until they hung that body up above it. Oh, another uh, sort of a... Uh, is this a television screen here? to say that uh, you've been going heavy on the health but uh, putting your knowledge file in there alters the balance quite dramatically. Uh, what have I not seen? All oh, right. Oh yeah, there must be something in the courtyard that I was blocked off for. The texture you've used for the table here is a bit strange because uh, it's a mid texture, it's got transparent gaps in it and when you put them on a the solid surface they uh, just become black. I don't fancy going in there much. Uh, that's uh, that's not a thing I can't interact with, but it's not making a noise. Oh, oh is that a sound tunnel? Yes, that activated them all. Okay. I hear loads of teleportation going on, but they're not reaching me. I was afraid that uh, they were going to spill into the corridor here. Must be in the room just over here. No, that's uh, more supplies. Not unwelcome, certainly. Let's head into the teleport then. Ah, there they are, okay. Where are the rest of your friends? Oh, there they are. Alright. There are two of them. Oh, okay. Back on their feet. I uh, don't fancy that. Well, I was lucky I hit that. Because you were keeping me ammunition starved here. This is a very generous secret. Uh, this will alter the balance of the map quite significantly. You might want to uh, tone down the value of the reward for finding that. Where's this building gone? I swear there was one over here. All right. Oh, 
you've gone for a cyber demon, I hear. Oh, I suppose this is a uh, this is meant to be a train, isn't it? Now that I've got it, this uh, I I get what you're going for here. That explains the double doors as well. I was wondering about that choice. So there's a, are there two cyber demons here? Because I, I had a distinct uh, rhythm to those rockets. Where are they? Oh, was it? Was I somewhere else entirely? Ah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a. A separate little place that's uh, placed in the map. And that's probably it. That is it! Pleasant little city map. Uh, you've definitely got the basics of Doom working. You've, uh, I think you've played uh, the middle of Doom 2 with Sandy Peters and Cities. All right, there we go. Oh, I've forgotten how many we've done now. Uh, was it 232? Yes, Easy as Pie is the next one. Uh, Artinum, and it's in the Mystery Zone. Every every time I say that, I, I, I say like Richard O'Brien in the Crystal Maze. Um, easy as Pie, here we go. I suspect that this is not going to be as easy as pie if you're you know, giving me these uh, resources. Okay. Made me here. That's the same. That's the same. That's the same. Um... I'm not having much luck here. What do these do? Oh, okay. They're numbered. <laughs> well, at least I can tell which ones are wrong now. Three, okay. And am I... Yeah, okay, I, I get it. Easy as pie, certainly. Um, do you know? I, I wasn't going to say this, but but uh, it reminded me from the thumbnail. Uh, this gives me flashbacks to this uh, game, uh, the television game that I used to watch uh, when I was really young, and it was called I Spy. And the the title of the map reminded me of that as well. Uh, e Y E S P Y. This was one. I think this was one of these programs. Uh, on BBC that where you didn't have a 100% chance of actually surviving the game, like uh, Nightmare and uh, Incredible Games and so on. But that wasn't what scared me. The final uh, the final obstacle course, the, there were these 10 phone booths were part of it, and y you had to choose one to get through, and if you chose a wrong one, it would... Alarms would scream and it would slime the hell out of you. Um, which I always find really frightening at that stage. But... Uh, yeah, I, the, you'll see it on YouTube. Uh, oh no, I, I, I'd already done one. Uh, you'll, you'll probably find it on YouTube. Uh, and I bet I, I might be the only person who's commented on that video in the however many years it's been up. Because no one seems to remember this program except me. Uh, one? Yeah. I'm being offered a soul sphere. I accept. Uh, 141, one. what's next? Five. Of course, it depends on how many digits you're rounding to. Uh, next one was nine. And then two. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, next one's six. Or it could be seven if you're, you know, if this is the last, last number and you're rounding up. Television was terrifying back then, I swear. Um, uh, so that was six, five. I uh, listened to an interview with uh, Hugo Myatt, who was a trade guard in Nightmare, on this uh, great podcast, by the way, which I've been part of. It's called Nightmare Pod, and it goes through the episodes of Nightmare one by one. And he was talking about how difficult it was to pitch the program, because uh, they would start off with, OK, listen, we're going to blindfold a child. <laughs> You're going to blindfold a child? What are you going to do next? Uh, then we're going to kill him. Uh, Three. Where was I? I'm telling too many stories to concentrate on this map. So six, five, three, but it could be four. Oh, never mind. It was three. Uh, it's six, five, three, five. Good luck. Good luck. And I don't know the rest. I maybe the next digit's nine. It's another A B C B pattern. That might be nine three four three. Oh, hang on a minute. I've uh, I've got to the end of the map. I never noticed that. Oh no, I didn't. I'm back at the start. Oh, give me a minute while I look up what pi is. Right, got it. Three point one four one five nine two six five three five. Uh, and then it would, and then I said nine, but it was eight. And it was an ABCB pattern, it's, but it's 8979. Oh, Commander Keen. Are you monsters? Oh, you are. Then I will slaughter you. Yeah, I bet uh, Hugo Myers and Tim Child would have had difficulty pitching this program to uh, CITV. Uh, I've forgotten now. Uh, seven? Oh, great, thanks. All right, let's try this again. Three. One. Four. One. Five. Nine. Two. Six, five, three, five. Eight, nine. Uh, and I, I went through seven. And but is this the uh, is this the final encounter now? Well, I was rubbish at that. And then this just leads you back to here. So, are you rounding up at this stage and it's eight? Yes. Maybe. Perhaps not. It is! All right, yeah. Nice little gimmick of a map. I would definitely have uh, stopped on the digit where you had to round down instead of up because that changes the digit of pi. Uh, but still, I got there in the end. And you gave me some nice memories by mistake. Well, I said nice memories, but uh, it's also kind of terrifying memories as well. Because there was that, and there was, you know, Noel Edmonds and his uh, array of pranksters. Just believing me that uh, 
slime traps would be much more of a problem in my life than uh, they ended up being. Uh, power plant incursion. We are going to... Yes, okay. Oh, I remember this one, yeah. This is uh, how I realised that Free Doom... Oh, yeah, red, yellow and blue? What am I supposed to do about that? I can't get out of the room! Oh, there it is. No one at reception, so I'll have to deal with it myself. Yeah, this map made me realise that Free Doom actually comes with a ton of textures that are not in uh, Doom or Doom 2 and don't have equivalents. So when I recommend Free Doom as an alternative to, for, to people for use, it's possible that they will put about 70 textures that uh, I've said will work and they just don't. Room. That's a bit unusual with the uh, spikes and the uh, ramp. I enjoy your use of the Otex textures as well. So let's have three more of these sub-switches, okay. Uh, this room looks a bit default, and in fact it looks very default because you're, uh, you're using the default walls and default ceiling. As I've said, uh, UDB has really done a disservice to Startan. It's a great texture. It, but it just looks like an unfinished map now. to open that. I was trying to open the bootcase. I like the little uh, lights placed occasionally on the roof. What woke up? Yeah, I don't know how that pinky saw me through the door. Laying traps now. I thought I had more room here, to be honest. But uh, I got some good punches in there. Not, no pathetic two health punches. Yeah, you go for it. Picking up a key trap. I see that's in your vocabulary as well. There he is. Well, that's not so much a trap as a reward, though. Yep. All right, we're going into the ventilation system, it seems. And we're back. Can't open that. Let's, let's actually go through the... Um, I'm irritated by 
realizing I have this weird stutter sometimes where I'll start a sentence and then uh, give up on it and start again immediately. And I talk like Foghorn Leghorn. And I'm conscious of it every time I edit one of my videos. And I'm trying to break that habit. It's like I start a sentence and then realize I haven't quite got the thought in my head. And there's a bit of a uh, threading problem there. There we go. I was going to say it's a bit odd you can walk through the railing, but, uh, you know, logically, why wouldn't you be able to? a really nice map so far. Uh, not a challenging one, which is great, because uh, this is exactly what I'm after just now. I've had people talk about the uh, ratings that I give to maps, which are my, you know, earnest best estimates at uh, how to rate the difficulty and the length of them. Uh, some people are saying that I, I rate things... Ah, thank you. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, they're saying that I rate things far too low, and that uh, two for me would be more like a five out of five for them. And you're never going to get 100% agreement on that. It surprises me, because I do not consider myself a particularly competent Doom player. I'm often having to speak at the same time as doing things, and I miss things, and it's amazing how many more uh, threads your brain has to work through when you're recording yourself playing. That was lucky. Yeah, handing out the super shotgun again in case the player missed it. Which uh, is another subject that's uh, been plaguing me throughout these videos. But I seem to have been less super shotgun blind the last few levels. I saw someone on uh, YouTube on a different uh, Ramp 2023 video say I'm struggling to understand how a map can have 185 exits. That was back when we were below 200. And believe me, I'm struggling with that as well. <laughs> Two switches left. Oh yeah, um, there were that, uh, there were those substation switches. There you go again, you see. I find one of those and then never again. But I'm on a different sequence now. Fight's easy enough with a door and a super shotgun. That was great, they all collided with the door frame. What's this? Ah. That was what I was looking for. So you're giving me more enemies so that my uh, journey across the map isn't uh, a dull one. So what do I do now? Oh yeah, that was reception. I've been there. And this was where I hit this substation relay switch. Two more of these subs. Hang on a minute. Oh, no. I thought... I thought I might be able to get away with just flipping that one multiple times, but it wasn't. It was, uh... 
It was that that switch is referring to the other switches. Two switches down, one to go. So where's the last one? Where have I not searched thoroughly enough? Looks like that direction has some uh, things I haven't seen. It definitely has. Let's see if there's another way through that uh, vent. Whoop. Aha! Okay. Okay. That's, uh... Yeah, you can see it from there, but you have to remember it's there on the way down. Not a massive problem. It requires an ounce of memory. But it means that if you're not paying attention, you'll just uh, skip that switch. Because you can't see it below you. All right, now we have to blow up somebody's popsicle stand. Oh. Ah. Oh, I thought I had more caca demons than uh, the one that was there. Let's check. Aha. Yeah. I see you doing these T-junctions quite a lot, which is uh, great. It's a very Romero-ian bit of de level design. Ow. But uh, I think you could do more with them if there was a bit more to one arm of the T. You tend to have to come back very quickly. What? Ah! That must have been uh, done by the floor plate on the little tower. Don't see enough floor plates in Doom maps. It's got the uh, perfect scripting system to uh, use them, and it's it's odd that they didn't uh, really appear until Quake. So for a door like that, um, it doesn't quite look at f like it fits in the frame, but you can actually build your own custom door by having two thin uh, little lines there and there, and put some uh, support textures on them. Whoa! You're getting into the surprise factor quite nicely.
Uh, oh, I've been here for 14 minutes. Sorry, I was enjoying it so much. Um, having done that, shall we do the 23 monsters left? If they're easy. Uh, we've got both keys. That's... Whoops, hello. Revenant somewhere. Ow. I don't think that Revenant can move. Yeah. So, what now? Still can't get back up there, which is actually good. You've uh, cordoned off an area of the map and made me... Uh, search within one area so I don't get lost. I got the yellow skull. So let's go back here. Uh, wrong way. Yes, okay, here. 13, 12. This is different, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes it's not entirely clear what a switch has done in this map. Just because it's around various nukes and crannies. Hello, Cyber Demon. Oh, alright. That probably wasn't the mastermind of this whole thing. <laughs> You're writing the script for my video here. Well. I was about to say that this is a very easy cyber demon fight because you only have to hold left and he can't hit you. But, uh. Oh, there we go. But uh, then I got a rocket to the base, so maybe my point is invalid. All right, I spent far too much time on that map, but I enjoyed it very much. That was a nice, uh, non stressful map uh, that had a bit of uh, beginner giveaways in it, the, like the default textures and so on, but uh, otherwise it was really a very pleasant uh, run through Doom. It escalated quite well as it went on, uh, so thank you, uh, Bahatume. Ah, I'm in a good mood now. I feel good about my chances of uh, actually surviving to the end of this project. Maintenance Hell by Profit is the next map. We're going back to the UAC base again. Uh, it's going to be in this back room over here. Looks interesting, let's see it. All right. We've got some moody music. We have an unmistakable tech base. We have 200 monsters. Let's see what we can do. Oh, this is kind of scary, isn't it? Oh, well, we've got some atmosphere going here. That's the last person who tried to come in. And here we go. I like the uh, little circuit boards in the wall there, made out of the uh, computer chip textures. You know, you can really see where all these details came from. The exit door and the uh, BFG 9000. I 
thought I had a shotgun there. It's a pleasant, dim-looking base so far, by the way. I just uh, feel the need to be quiet <laughs> while sneaking through it. Is that a little uh, forklift? Yeah! <laughs> okay, they're both locked. Are there things that I'll get open later in the map? I'm not really sure. Oh, I thought that was a secret, because a slightly different uh, tech texture. Nice little scare. Funnily enough, I've had a dream in which uh, there was a scare just like that. Where, uh, through a slit on the other side of the room, you could see. Uh, it was actually Crystal from Star Fox in the dream. <laughs> but, uh, that she was sitting on the bed facing away. Uh, apparently in the next room, but when you got closer you realised that was just a painting, and then the painting slid aside and there were these angry eyes staring at you. It was a bit like that in the uh, Karo Valentin Museum in uh, Munich as well, where... Uh... Oh, yeah, we're getting darker here. Where there's this door uh, that says, strictly for adults. And you open the door and uh, behind it there's just a wall saying, aren't you nosy? Uh, Karl Valentin, I should possibly explain, was uh, a rare species. He was a German comedian. We say Germans don't have a sense of humour, but uh, the reality is that they just have a very sort of dry sense of humour, very much like uh, British people do. Someone told me once, uh, he's a friend from... Uh, Oh, I'm, I'm going to get this wrong. It's either Nepal or Tibetan. I can't remember which one. Um, uh, but he said British humour is about taking something that's completely absurd and then treating it like it's normal. And that's that's the dry kind of British humour. It's uh, all over Monty Python and Douglas Adams and everything. Are there going to be any health packs in this? Yeah, there are. I, I know I must have picked one up because I had 25 health uh, and I know I was down to 7 or so before. It's a very colourful crate room. Ah, aha! I've got access there now, so I must have done something. Excuse me. Ah, okay, we've, we've uh, got access, we've turned on the power, we have summoned the hell creatures. And there's the power to the left. Decided to spring the blue key trap a bit early that time. Very uh, unexpected. Mm, red key, okay. 
I'm interested in these tiny little uh, platforms that you have in your map. Just to let the player up to a second level. Uh, so yeah, blue door. As I head confidently away from it. There we go. be a lost soul. Oh, that, you know, pipes in the maintenance tunnel, that's great. Uh oh. And this always happens when you're in the maintenance tunnel. The lights are unfortunately not very well maintained. Now, there's quite a lot of blue doors here. I'm trying to think if this was the uh, only option or... Ah, there we go. Yeah, I just fell down. Oh, look at that, the... Uh... Uh, viscera dripping through the ceiling. That's a unpleasant detail I've uh, not seen before and wish never to again. Looks quite a lot like uh, Penny's chin before she got her stitches in, actually. That's a trap I see sometimes and I wish I were better at uh, pulling it off myself, where a lift lowers a bit more than you were expecting. Well, you hid those enemies well up above. Naturally, you want to clear out the enemies before you go anywhere suspicious like that. But this time, I didn't see them before uh, the encounter happened. Oh, what's that released? Ah. There we go then. I think I'll use the single shotgun just to take them out from a distance. See how well it works. Uh, Doom's really a game about not getting hurt, isn't it? Because uh, just a couple of uh, hits can send you from a hundred to nothing. All right, so we did that switch. We went up here. We got the super shotgun. We opened this up. What else? Aha. I nearly missed that. All right, blue door, blue door, yellow door. Oh, I see, yeah. So you could only get to these blue doors through another blue door. And once you've got through those, uh, you get the yellow key. Uh, eventually. <laughs> Lucky shot.
Now, I'm suspicious as to the lack of other ambushes that have been here. That's a great little, uh, techy detail. Oh. Had an angry skeleton, there he is. a lot of darkness in this map. Oh yeah, this is where... is this where I started? It is where I started, okay. Yeah, I love levels that open up like this as you go and lead you back to previous areas and uh, open up new routes from them. Absolutely wrecked that revenant from both ends. All right, how long have I been going? I've been going for twelve minutes already. Wait, wait, hang on. What? Oh, it's one of these. Starting to be able to st 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 strategically <laughs> uh, leave enemies alive if uh, they're going to help blocking revenant missiles. On occasion. It won't happen all the time, I can guarantee you that. Alright, so that's uh, half this map's monster count, uh, just about. How do I get out of this one? Ah. This is a, this is just such a comfortable seeming map, you know, it's an odd thing to say about a hell infested tech base, but it's going at a, a nice sedate pace. You've got uh, some encounters with a bit of difficulty to them, but you've got time to recover in between them. This is a really nicely paced map, I would say. And finally, 235 Islands and Waterfalls by Snicer, the Accursed Ruins. Sometimes the all caps makes it a bit difficult to make out names and they're more clear when you have uh, capitals and lowercase. But we'll see. Uh, that's not it. It's this one over here. Isles and Waterfalls by S. Nicer. okay. Oh, it's the trooper. I'm going to try to resist singing, but it will be a challenge. This is one of the first Iron Maiden songs I ever heard, and it was a revelation to me as to what you could, what you were allowed to do with music. Because uh, I heard this on the Carmageddon 2 soundtrack, which is an excellent game, by the way. Uh, and I knew that heavy metal existed, but just assumed it was too uh, manic and violent for me. But then suddenly you had this really sort of positive sounding, energetic song about the Crimean War. <laughs> it's about the Charge of the Light Brigade. Um, and. I didn't know that people wrote songs about uh, scenes from history like that. So that nowadays, you know, everyone uh, knows about Sabaton, who have made it uh, their defining characteristic. But uh, before they did it, Iron Maiden did it a lot as well. 
I was just amazed that they wrote songs about whatever they liked. Uh, Bruce Dickinson, he was on... Uh, he was quite close to the, the uh, Olympic fencing team for Britain, I think, at some point. Uh, and uh, he wrote a song about uh, fencing, the duelist, and uh, just... Uh, there's a song called The Prisoner, because uh, one of them was uh, very into that television series. They have uh, To Tame a Land, which is about June. They wanted to call it June, but uh, Frank Herbert wouldn't let them. Or rather his agent. I remember uh, there was an interview with Rod Smallwood, their manager, who... Uh, said that he made the call to Frank Herbert's agent and he said no because Frank Herbert does not like uh, he, he does not like bands writing songs about his books and he especially doesn't like bands like Iron Maiden well I thought I thought I wouldn't either but then I found this uh, amazing site it's called Iron Maiden Commentary just detailing what every Iron Maiden song meant it was, it was just eye-opening. Right, I haven't said anything about the map yet, <laughs> but uh, this is an expansive vista um, and an intimidating monster count. I'm not sure how I'm going to get through 968 monsters in the next few minutes. Satisfying. Just precision rocketing these uh, knights. Oh no, there's a swarm of caca demons. But I think if I hold my ground here, it might be easier to get them off. I mean, see them off. Goodness gracious me. Oh, will you let me do it once? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, forget it. <laughs> I'll try again in a bit once my throat's warmed up. On a good day these days, I can do a fairly convincing D-sharp 5. But it, conditions have to be ideal. I was stuck for ages uh, when I was uh, practicing singing my music. Uh, I could not get above uh, something like B or B-flat 4, which isn't even a full tenor range. But something eventually broke through the barrier. The reason a lot of uh, of uh, metal vocals are, you know, they have a reputation for being sort of helium and very high pitched, is because uh, you can train your voice to go higher, but it's very difficult to train your voice to go lower than it naturally uh, can. Busy with the demons. The trooper's quite a. <laughs> Whoa! Quite an appropriate song for this level. Oh, what? Is the water a bit cold for you? Mm. 
not a chorus the trooper has as well. It's not so much a chorus as a prolonged scream. how much groundwork Iron Maiden laid for very different genres of metal. Well, I'm thinking of Power and Progressive, which are actually quite simple. But, uh, but they introduced this, uh, you know, you can write a song with stories about anything, uh, and it's melodic and very, uh, very impressive vocals, which are staples of power metal. And then Progressive Metal, they had this... Uh, uh, they had all these different time signatures in their song, flipping between them at least three times per song. Um, so it was all these different elements. And I think The Trooper, one of their best songs, really gets overlooked compared to uh, things like Number of the Beast, which I, I don't really like. I don't think it's one of the best songs, but, uh, you know, it's the, well, it's the one they're famous for. Or Bring Your Daughter to the Slaughter, that's uh, their only number one. And I think that's one of the worst songs, obviously. Okay, here's Zone 2. <laughs> Sandwich between several rockets. Oh, hit that specter right in the face. Oh, that was fortuitous. As long as I keep moving... Oh, wow, I'm waking up a lot of you, aren't I? Um... Oh. Tally-ho! Oh, goodbye! <laughs> I thought there might be uh, some uh, drainage trench there, or, you know, the water down there that I might be able to find a teleport out of, but uh, you went for the instant death route. One of the reasons that uh, I was drawn to Iron Maiden is that it had this, uh, not only because of the reasons listed above, but because uh, it had this very sort of deliberate, uh, I don't know the, the word, but it was, it was like game music. It was like the music I'd heard in Doom and Contra and, you know, a lot of uh, early game music was very uh, rock metal inspired because it had that kind of energy and it had that kind of melody. So they were the band that showed me that, that you know this is the kind this is the genre of music that you like. It actually has a name and it's it's there. I don't think there was much Iron Maiden in uh, Bobby Prince's uh, music for Doom, was there? All right, we're approaching ten minutes of this as well. Let's 
Whoa! Let's get stopped by a lost soul. Have I mentioned how much this song suits my playstyle in this map yet? Well, this will be difficult though, I'll have some hit scanners. <clears throat> ah. Oh, am I all the way back here? Yeah. Okay, one more attempt. Because the chorus is coming round again, I want to try it again. Da, 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 da. Da. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! oh, that worked. Uh, that was a really nice looking map. I, I really liked the outdoor rocky environment and how you used it to plant the revenants and the hell knights as the turrets and had this uh, this uh, army of monsters to get through on your way through the open spaces and the caves. Uh, I think uh, given another 10 minutes with this map, I might have, uh, well, might have got halfway through it. <laughs> but yeah, despite the high monster count, it's it doesn't seem insurmountable. You just need to have a bit more care than I have at this time in the evening. So once again, thank you for five excellent, interesting maps.